Hey guys, welcome to A Coastal Alive. We are post launch of Why Every Pregnant Woman Should Write a Book. And today I want to reflect on or talk about reflecting on writing Why Every Pregnant Woman Should Write a Book. Um, which this is the most uh, difficult book I've ever written as well as the lengthiest book that I've ever written in terms of word count. So with that being said, as I was writing my third book, Why Every Pregnant Woman Should Write a Book, I was comparing it or just having similarities uh, between that well between book three and book two which is dear nice girl so in terms of stress um specifically deadline stress i felt that the same as i did with writing dear nice girl with writing book number two um but this time it was compounded uh with you know the pandemic the stress of that the stress of motherhood uh, the stress um, in marriages um, or in marriage and the stress of running a business, a small business. And I am, you know, slowly growing my team, but I still have to perform a lot of the functions. So that wasn't fun. Um but I had to push through. Like I, I, it was just no way that I was going to not finish such an important project like this. Um, and then my editor gave me some more suggestions. Um, so I had to go back in and refine, you know, a lot of my ideas and basically hone in on exactly what I'm trying to say and, you know, sell my readers on why every pregnant woman should write a book. So I'm transitioning into the marketing phase of this book and, um, you know, I'm making sure that I don't leave my other two books behind. Although this uh, book in particular has been the one that I learned a lot um, and the book, you know, has the experience behind me becoming a businesswoman and so or at least you know having my foot you know really deep into I'm a Kosovar. and so yeah I mean the marketing everything that didn't make it into the book because once it was you know crunch time and deadline time I had to chop a lot of other things that I, I wanted in there um but they have a place and they have a purpose and so they're I'm transitioning those different things, those ideas um, to use as my main tool to market the book because now that's what I have to put my energy towards. The work ain't over, although I wish it was. <laughs> um, so, yes, I will be talking about, you know, just the experience um, more and I just, you know, want more time because I'm still not removed. The The one thing that I will say when I wrote back to Kukran to me and when I wrote Dear Nice Girl, I was able to remove myself for some time from the work. And I'm sure, you know, other authors, other writers know exactly what I'm talking about. And that time is really necessary to breathe. Um, and I haven't gotten that just yet. And I also am working on other manuscripts as well. And so this experience is, I'm still wrapping my mind around the whole thing. Like, I know that it's going to open the door um, and it wraps together or ties together so well my other two books, um, which, you know, I've said before, makes it a, a powerful trilogy, you know, a powerful third book. So, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you order your copy of Why Every Pregnant Woman Should Write a Book. Um, when you order or when you make your purchase, it comes with a free publishing consultation with us at Amakosua. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.